Yo, what it do, guys? Now, I'm going to try and keep this video as to the point as I possibly can. If you are a player that is looking to return back to Warframe and you want to know what did you miss over the last few years, this is what this video is designed for. Now, in 2019, I created a video uh, that had a document tied to it, which is what have you missed returning to Warframe for the new war questline? Now, obviously, this was in 2019 and it's not 2019 anymore. So with that, we've had to go and update the document and change it and try to go ahead and make it look a lot nicer. So this is where this now comes in. Now, it's going to give you a bit of a rundown. First things first, it is currently August 12th, 2023. Tenocon is in two weeks on the 26th. All right. So to give you guys an idea of the timeline of where I stopped editing this right now, this is to condense all of the patch notes within Warframe. That either is things for you to go do so you can influence it or it can influence you like acquiring weapons, Warframes, companions, so forth, whatever. Um, again, acquiring or content within uh, the game, like discoverability, quests, so forth, new areas, new locations, new enemies. This is what this document is designed for. It's not a step by step guide to go and help you through every single new thing. Like, if a new prime came out, I'm not going to tell you where the relic is. Um, if a new quest came out, I'm not going to tell you step by step how to do the quest. I'm just going to tell you that the quest exists. Okay. So, this is a very condensed version to help you guys understand what you you've missed now anything else you need to go know please go ahead and read this because it is important and there are some spoilers in here and i'll show you how to go ahead and do the spoilers and sort out the spoilers um so there won't be things like cosmetics and stuff like that either let's go and pick a year so you can just click over here whenever you want to let's click on 2020 in 2020 as you can see there's an image tied here this image is tied to all of them in 2020 uh this is focused primarily more around um uh, Deimos, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Deimos was like one of the biggest updates that happened in 2020. But however, what also happened in 2020 was these new Prime Warframes came out with these new weapons came out. These new war Warframes and weapons came out. These new weapons came out, new companions. You get the idea. Um, then we can kind of scroll down new mechanics inside the game. For example, shield gating is now a thing. Now, for some stuff, I have tied guides and videos to them that I've created. So if it does go and help you, you can watch the other video and just simply click and head over there. But otherwise, again, stuff like this is stuff that you are going to need to know. For example, status chance can exceed over 100%. So although it's not really content, if you will, it is discoverability because you may not know this and it is technically going to be things to do because when you're modifying, you're going to want to know that you can exceed over 100%. You see what I'm saying? So this is what it is. It's all whether or not it can influence you or it can be influenced. That's what the document's breaking down. All of the Heart of Deimos update, all of these new resources, everything else like that. And yes, there is an entire notepad that breaks all of this stuff down for the last five years worth of content. Now, to give you a bit of a, an idea of how the spoiler works in here, you can see there's these black bars. What you want to go and do is just read it here. It says highlight under to reveal these spoilers. Simply click and kind of reveal. All right, click and drag. Okay, click and drag your mouse and you can reveal what the text says underneath. If it is a bit harder, just feel free to scro uh, scroll in. I was about to say scroll in. You can go ahead and scroll in like this if you need to. Oh my God, that's way too far. You can go ahead and scroll in like this. And as you can see, it's a bit easier to read like that. Um, but hopefully it does go and help you this way for anybody who has any major mainline updates without spoilers. I haven't spoke about the spoilers here. Okay. Anyways, that's basically as to the point as I can go and make this video. Now, if it does go and help you, all I'm going to go and ask for is like the video, please. I'd really appreciate that. I did qu put quite a few hours into this. Reading patch notes can be quite exhausting because there's a lot of stuff you've got to go and filter out. Um, if you do think there's anything that I could go and add in here and you've got a suggestion, please go and leave a comment. I'm always open to, to suggestions. I may not apply all of the suggestions, but I am open to hearing to try and better this as well to help people. Um, again, it's not a step-by-step -step guide. It's just to go ahead and condense things down to go and give you an idea of what to go do. Um, if you do know of anybody else who can go ahead and benefit from this, please go and share the notepad. All right. Again, the notepad is the tied within the video description. You're more than welcome to go and take it. I hope it helps you. And that's about it. All right. I'm going to stop blabbering. That's the video. Thank you guys for being here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, by the way. We've got lots of other videos coming up. Tentacon 2023 is around the corner. I'm excited for that. But anyways, I'll catch you guys again in the next video. All right.